The operator of the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant has released new photographs of the massive tsunami that hit the facility on March 11th last year. The 33 shots were taken by a worker of an affiliated business. They were made public after the government criticized the operator, Tokyo Electric Power Company. A diet panel investigating the nuclear crisis pointed out that the utility failed to release some images it had of the tsunami. Some of them show the wave surging into the plant and sweeping away a tanker that's attempting to leave the port. The wall of water moves through the grounds and carries away large containers and other debris. The pictures also show frightened workers gathered on a rooftop. TEPCO officials say they originally chose to release only the photos that showed the tsunami most clearly. They apologized for not revealing the entire set. Getting rid of the massive amounts of debris from last year's disaster has been a big headache for the Japanese government. Wednesday marks 16 months, but Environment Minister Goshi Hosono says only one-fifth of the rubble has been dealt with. Hosono told reporters that as of the end of June, about 3.82 million tons, just 20% of the wreckage from the three most affected prefectures, had been incinerated, buried, or recycled. Ministry officials estimate the disaster left some 19 million tons of debris in the three prefectures. Iwate had 5 million tons, Miyagi over 11 million tons, and Fukushima some 2 million tons. There are no plans yet for non-burnable waste from Iwate and burnable debris from Miyagi. We want to make a plan as quickly as possible. The government has set March 2014 as the target date to complete the disposal. The operators of a nuclear facility in a prefecture neighboring Fukushima are dealing with a problem they've never faced before. They found damaged fuel rod containers at one of the reactors at the Onagawa plant, which is currently offline. Engineers used an underwater camera to inspect the four and a half meter high metal containers in a fuel rod storage pool in reactor three. They found a chip in one of the more than 1,300 containers. The indentation measures two centimeters by several millimeters wide. Engineers say they also discovered similar chips in other containers. Tohoku Electric Power Company runs the Onagawa plant. Spokespersons say the fuel rods are intact and that there are no safety concerns because the reactor is not operating. But they say workers will inspect the damage and survey the plant's two other reactors. Nuclear safety regulators have ordered Tohoku Electric to check and report on whether last year's massive earthquake caused the chips. And you know, so many journalists will say to me, well, no one's died yet. Well, we don't expect people to drop dead unless they get a whopping dose of radiation. I think actually some of the workers who have been exposed to very high levels have died. Oh, yeah, and have, for sure. And some have been seriously ill. Um, but there's a big cover-up there by TEPCO and the Japanese government. So we don't really know what's going on. But certainly um, one-third of, of, of it, a number of children who've been uh, studied in Fukushima have thyroid tumours um, and they've been diagnosed by ultrasound um, and they are not being biopsied. They're not taking the tumours out or the cysts to see if they're malignant or not. Um, and so many of those children are destined to die and we don't expect solid cancers to start appearing for at least five years. This is within the first year, so things are very serious. People in Japan have been wary of nuclear power since the crisis at the Fukushima plant last year. A new NHK poll suggests half of them want to reduce dependency on nuclear energy, but not completely abandon it. More than 1,000 people took part in the survey last weekend. They were asked about government proposals for the role of nuclear power in the year 2030. Nuclear power accounted for about 26% of total power supplies before the March 11th disaster. Officials have proposed three scenarios. The first is that Japan completely abandons nuclear power. 
The second is that 15 percent of energy supplies come from nuclear plants. And third is that nuclear power accounts for about a quarter of all energy supplies. Forty percent of respondents to the poll support cutting the rate to 15 percent. About one third favored getting rid of nuclear power entirely. Just 12 percent wanted the ratio to be as high as one quarter. The poll also asked about the decision to restart two reactors at the OE nuclear plant in central Japan. 42 percent had a positive view of the restart. 52 percent were negative. Asked if more reactors should go back online, 25 percent said yes and 27 percent said no. The rest were undecided. The newspaper man. I pity the newspaper man who cannot understand the way that he's been tricked to lie with methods on the hand. Takes his cues from falsity, from those who peddle death, who cover up the truth of things with each mendacious breath. Arguments construct his truth with journalistic guile. Who carefully selects his source to back his twisted cause, whose face reveals his inner pain. Uranium shares and their own selfish ends. 